Advanced Tech Reviews. Today we are looking at Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 1, released in 2001. Uh, XP, as you know, is out of support on Home and Professional. I've seen not much Home Edition uh, videos from starting up and shutting down and checking all the features and all of that. I only see that they were clicking through it and shutting it down. So uh, I've got it configured to a classic logo, that's the only thing I've done to it, and I've attempted to install a browser and it did not work. So let's power on this virtual machine. Uh, there's the VMware spinning circle, there's the VMware logo, and this is the difference between the service plan 1 to the next we know today. It says home edition on the boot screen and the boot screen's green, not blue. Um, so you see the bottom left, you've got 1985 to 2001. Um, you can see Microsoft on the bottom right. It says Microsoft twice, actually Microsoft three times, so, yep. Okay, here comes the Windows logon screen, uh, Windows XP Home Edition there. It says Microsoft three times too. Um, this is the classic logon screen for Windows. Um, I actually prefer this over the, um, actually I like the logon screen, um, the welcome screen, but I do like this screen. Um, if you don't know, um, Windows XP was the first operating system I remember using. I barely remember using you know, anything older than XP. Um, I did use, apparently I did use 98 and 95, uh, but the earliest operating system I remember using at home is Windows XP Home Edition 7 Pack 2. So let me log in. Like so. And it looks just like the um, Windows Server 2003 or Windows.net Server, whatever it is, I just recorded because I just set it up like that. Okay, anywho, uh, this is not how it looks like to start with. This is just the look. Oh, I just don't want my chair squeaking. Um, this is how it looks. This is how it looked. Um, I had trouble activating this uh, uh, before, so I just did a system repair and that fixed that issue. Yeah. That was a big major issue. That was a big problem to me because I couldn't figure out how to activate it. Because all it said was activate through the internet, and then I had to find out how to connect it to the internet and all that stuff. Because the internet wasn't working. Uh, currently, it's connected to the NAT. NAT is the only one that works for me. Okay, anywho, on the desktop, all you basically got was the recycle bin, but I've installed some programs, but they don't work. Uh, because this is Service Pack 1, nothing works for Service Pack 1. So if I do Windows key R, Windows key R, and do a Winver, you can see this is Windows XP build 2600 service pack 1. 1981 to 2001 apparently. Anywho, um, let's go for the start menu, what you get with XP, which is a lot more than Windows service 2003. Uh, here's the Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer version 6, of course. Uh, we can update this Internet Explorer 8. Let's actually do that now. Uh, I'm up to use Beaks, Google doesn't work. Yep, and uh, there we go. Download Internet Explorer 8, which is the last version of Internet Explorer, because that might work better than this one. The Microsoft Edge won't work on here. Oh, apparently, oh, maybe it takes more of seven. Nothing really works for XP, to be honest. Download it takes more of seven. I think that will work. Will that work on service pack one? Okay, let's scroll down to the bottom once everything's loaded. Well, it takes four or seven is not compatible with your system. You don't run it, you know, it will not run on your system. Okay, so unfortunately we can't update that. That's all right. That's because I'm on uh, Service Pack One. Um, here we go. We've got the Outlook Express, uh, which is a version. It is um, Outlook for Windows XP. You can uh, download, um, I think, up to Office 2010 on Service Pack Three. I don't know what it is on Service Pack One. Um, cause, okay, that's one I'm rid of email. It's the same. Welcome to Outlook Express Six. Here you go, we've got set programs as, as default, so we can go to Microsoft or Microsoft Custom and all of that. Now we've got MS Ed Explorer, which I don't know what the heck this is. Oh no, that's just connected to the internet, no thank you. It's the only one the browser the internet communicating, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with that later, but that's MS Ed Explorer. 
That's a program I've never heard of. Windows Media Player. Ah, uh, so you can go now play. Ah, uh, this is B Media Player version 6. Version 8, I was close. I think version 11's on Windows XP, so it's pet free. But you know, this is the first version of Windows XP that came. Well, actually, the second version of Windows XP. First one being the RTM build. Now, uh, there's the Outlook. I don't know where we're up to. Oh, to Windows Messenger. So this is Windows Messenger. You know, it's like AOL, all that. Your Messenger, your Facebook Messenger. Ah, uh, that's just minimizing down there. Uh, we've got two Windows XP. This is the Windows XP tour. Let's go play music. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new yeah. version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, personal computing just got a whole lot easier and more fun. Yeah. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. To begin the tour, click any selection. Yeah, then just click for any um, stuff. So let's go basic. Just for example, um, this is the basic. Friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Discover Windows XP's the Windows Desktop. Using the Windows desktop. XP is simple. First, you'll see the large colored area on the screen called the desktop, and the narrow band at the bottom called the taskbar. So Everything you can there. do on your computer appears inside frames that are called windows. You can open windows. as many windows at one time as you like and resize them, move yep. them around, or restack them in any order. Everyone knows that. Icons. The small pictures you see on the desktop are called icons. Think of them as doorways to the files and programs stored on your computer. Yep. Place your mouse over an icon. Text appears identifying its name or contents. To open the file or program, double click the icon. Yeah, that's right. There we go. That's so cute. Shortcut icons, identified by the small arrow on the lower left, let you access programs, files, folders, disk drives, web pages, printers, even other computers. And because I desktop Windows shortcuts simply that. supply links to those files so for devices, taskbar, taskbar, start menu, start menu files, windows. Yeah, I so on and so forth. We can do everything on the XP tour. Next is the movie maker, Windows Movie Maker. This is version 8, I think. Well, version 1. Oh, God. So, their face are telling me. Okay, next. Alright, so then you got your activate windows, which I think I've already dealt with. Let's just quickly have a look. Yeah, Windows is activated. Yeah, good, that's that bit fixed. Uh, so, probably, yep. so now we've got accessories, we've got accessibility, we've got the accessibility wizard. I said a bit of New Zealand, it's the accessibility wizard. It's just like any other windows that are uh, So, we've got all the features here. Uh, WordPad was introduced in Windows XP or was it Windows 2000? I think it was 2000. Here we go. Uh, this is version. So obviously version XP's one. That's WordPad. WordPad. Not much different to Word. It's like a light white version of Word. Okay. Okay. Let's do Control Panel. Let's actually do a bit of customization before we shut down the operating system. So we can change the let's go display. So you can change the so we've got the my current theme, the Windows XP theme, which is just Luna, and Windows Classic, which is this theme, but that okay. Okay, cool. So we're gonna keep my current theme. We got desktop. We got the wallpapers. We got we got a couple of wallpapers. I actually don't mind. 
this wallpaper actually. I've seen this before being used at my uh, my father, my dad's work. Um, well, my dad's old job when he was working at Minor, well, at a store in Israel called Minor 10. He, his computer, the computer there had this, uh, had this uh, wallpaper. But we've also got that stone head. Uh, we've got Red Red Death. But well, there's a couple of um, just um, nice um, wallpapers. We got the Windows XP uh, blog on wallpaper, whatever it is. But if I go, I'll show you a wallpaper. I don't know which one it is. Freddy for oh, Oregon, just I think it is. Yeah, if I do that, this will go to the touch. Okay. And I'll just let this do its thing, and I'll just show you. This is if you don't, if you couldn't read the Windows XP Home Edition. Uh, wait for this to be done with its so if it, look at that. So it's like some sort of spotlight thing, so this is Windows XP. So if you couldn't read it, there you go. I'm going to apply that. There you go, your power settings. Oh, I just applied another wallpaper. Let's do it friend. And do it stretched. There we go. Um, there we go. Settings, you can change your screen resolution. Uh, if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. That's actually the next door neighbor's kids and they're screaming their butts off. That's why I don't do much YouTube videos too, is because they scream their butts off next door. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just click apply. Okay. That's a beautiful dog. I love my dogs. You probably see the iOS video showing that. Um, okay, so that's basically it for XP Home Minister Service Pack 1. You can't really do much on it anymore. Ah, um, actually, no, no, it's not. We've got help and support, which is just say, it's looking up for support stuff. And then you got your search. Search for progress. You see, you got the little dog. I think you can change that. Change preferences. Ah, I've seen it off again for a moment. I'd love to play Twitch. Grab me a question. Merlin. With a little old fashioned, a little dancing or magic chick is always helpful. Courtney, Earl, and Rover. I like Rover. Oh, oh, but when you quit, when you quit, it usually does a little animation there. <sighs> Haven't seen that in a while. Well, it won't. Thank you for first turn off animated character. Yeah, see how it disappears? And then I can go and change preferences with an animated screen character. If I click close, it uh, doesn't do it anymore. There you go, run, that's the run box. Now, I'll show you the welcome screen quickly. So, I'm just going to go to user accounts. Change your... Now, new and XP, you can actually do switch user rather than logging off the whole system. So, if I click switch user, there we go. That's the that's um, Windows XP welcome screen. Got introducing Neptune, build 5111. Uh, this very long on screen. Um, it was really heavily um, um, changed. So at first, it was like a white background with the old Windows logo on the side. Uh, that's the first one I remember using. And then it had the Windows Whistle uh, uh, logo on the top right hand of the side of the screen. Top right hand side of the screen. Then eventually, they had the welcome side next to the piggy. And then afterwards, it moved to Windows logo down the bottom there. There to the middle. Then just log in. Like that. And you're back to what you're doing. So that's, well, that was introduced in XP. So that's, that feature's been around since 2001. And it's still used today. Lots of things in XP is still in Windows 10 today. Like the ability to do that. And multiple logons and all that stuff, and a dual, and a dual start, start menu, but not like this. Windows 10, you don't have the thing there. Anywho, let's shut down Windows. Let's turn off the computer. I'll stick with the welcome screen, that's alright. And now it's saying logging off, it will save the settings, and it will shut down the computer. And that will return to the VMware, VMware start screen. Alright, that's it for the Windows operating systems today. I hope you have enjoyed. Please make sure you hit the like button. Now we're moving on to Linux. Uh, we 
we're starting with hang on, I'll go take some boxes off my iPod. So we're gonna have some reminders. So the next one will be Ubuntu. Um, my Ubuntu is out of date, but we'll get it up to date. That's hard complete. So now we're gonna do Ubuntu, CentOS, and Linux Mint. First up, Ubuntu. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.